Hi Libra, it's really wonderful to be with you. This is your astrology and tarot forecast for October 2014 and I feel a specific closeness to you this month doing these uh, forecasts and I'll explain why around the 23rd of October for the information on that day. So before I go there, I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit, but I'm going to give you a rundown of the astrological influences and then I'll draw a tarot card to give you a major theme. Now, the first thing that happens this month is that the moon is in, it's in its first quarter on the 1st of October and it's also in its first quarter again on the 31st of October. And what that means is um, it's something that doesn't happen very often. It's quite a rare event. If that happens with a full moon, it's called a blue moon. You know, and the saying is once in a blue moon because it's so rare. It really represents astrologically that this is going to be a special month that's going to subtly and internally give you a lot of meaning and purpose in your life. And the 1st to the 3rd of October specifically are going to be very interesting for you um, in terms of your relationships and how you feel about yourself. So a miraculous surprise by your partner, by your romantic relationship is going to make you feel like you're more at home within yourself, if that makes sense. So if, in your, if you're in a relationship, and this is, you know, your birthday is going to be this month. So, or for most of the month, you know, around the 20th of September-ish until the 20th of October. So, there's real scope for you to have your birthday this month. And, it could be that on your birthday someone brings you a wonderful bunch of red roses and it makes you feel loved and it makes you feel at home with your partner. It could be that you're single and you go to a nightclub and you're looking gorgeous and someone really amazing comes up to you and says want a date or something like you know something like that and it makes you feel good about yourself and that's really first couple of days of the month that's a theme in your life so whether it's your birthday later on or in those days it doesn't matter you're going to feel special in the first three days of October uh, Mercury goes into retrograde on the 4th and it stays there until the 26th of October. And this is a period when communication becomes more difficult. Uh, I've done a separate video on Mercury Retrograde. It's always similar. You always have to look at alternative ways of communicating. And in this, this Mercury Retrograde particularly is in your second house of finances and belongings. So it may be that your, your devices, your physical things don't communicate as well this month. Or don't speak to each other as well. On the 8th is a full moon. And it's a full moon that's also a total lunar eclipse. It's occurring on the south node of the moon, which means it's about letting go of something. You feel good about yourself, about yourself in relationship, and what you're able to let go of is the constant need to drive a relationship and to create the harmony and beauty in a relationship. And you're able to let other people come in and give their energy, and you allow other people to surprise you. And you step back a little bit and you hand over the reins and the control in terms of your relationships a little bit and you become a much more relaxed partner. Less, not that you're controlling, but less, you know, obsessed to make everything happy for the two of you. It's, you always feel like that's your job. If I want to be happy, I've got to create the wonderful special moments. But no, other people can do that for you too. And you, you, you find nice surprises there. And you can let that go and you can let go of neurotically pleasing the two of you in relationships all the time. That's a wonderful lesson. The real talent appears on the 9th and 10th. And that happened, your friendships are going to be brilliant, really. You're going to want to talk to friends, do things with friends. You'll make new friends, you'll have great times with your friends. And um, something surprising is going to happen there. They're going to celebrate you and make you feel good as well. So this is a month of you really being celebrated by other people, which is fabulous. Mercury goes into Libra on the 11th. So your communicative things have been affected by products, tangible things, the computer or whatever. The way you speak, the way you come across, the way you are as a person isn't affected so much. So really, I would say that you as a sign are affected the least by Mercury going retrograde this month. So don't worry about things. Don't worry so much about contracts or the wrong 
message coming through, you're not going to be affected too much by that. The 13th is an interesting day because you're going to be very sensitive to um, exploring different parts of, you're going to get a real thirst for knowledge and you'll want to apply that in your work via the 15th. So you feel good, you feel confident enough to explore something new to really, you become very, very curious. Um, and you find some information and you can then use that to really feel at home in your working life around the 15th. Keep your eyes and ears open, be curious, stick your nose in other people's business, you'll get something positive out of that. You're not going to harm anyone by being a little bit nosy. The, the 16th to the 22nd, that's an interesting week because what happens there is um, your relationships again are being put under the microscope and you get more surprises, more good things coming in, and you really are able to communicate in such a way that gets your self out there and you explore different aspects of the world that results in your hopes and dreams getting bigger and better, feeling better about yourself and then electrifying your relationship. So what people give you at the beginning of the month, you most certainly return to them just by the way you are. Your energy is going to be up here. You're going to be like, you know, you're going to be out there. You're going to be like a beacon. You're going to be a shining bright light. People will see you from miles away. You're going to have absolute superstar power, charisma, wonderful. The 23rd is a total solar, no, I'm sorry, a partial solar eclipse. And that happens on the north node of the moon. And this is about um, more a global thing. It's about governments and uh, the people in charge. It's in Libra, it's in your sign, which really causes the people in charge to try and create more harmony and peace and balance in the world. And I really hope this occurs because if you've been watching the news this year, you'll know what's been going on. It hasn't exactly been a very calm year in terms of some of the conflict and hopefully some peace will come into the world and will be as a result of some of these global powers taking some positive structured action. Venus goes into Scorpio on the 24th and you start to become more introspective and into the feelings that are floating around. But you also do that in terms of your fi uh, your finances and your belongings. So you start to care about um, your physical reality again. You will want to start to build some structure. You'll want to beautify your house. You'll want to make some more money so you can have a bank account that makes you feel safe um, and that makes you feel good. On the 26th, Mars moves from Sagittarius into Capricorn. And the theme shifts again completely. You want to work on your family relationships now. So between the 24th and the 26th, your focus is a little bit all over. So I'm looking at money today. I'm looking at my physical appearance today. I'm looking at my family today. So try and pick a theme because you might get a little, you know, if you try and multitask to this extent, there's a danger that you don't get anything done. The final week of the month, the 27th to the 31st, is a very positive time for you in terms of working out a daily routine that does earn you some more money and that, oh okay, consider working with family, with your partner or starting a family business. Wow, that's an interesting message. And um, yeah, really consider that you could create a new business in the last week of October 2014, the 27th to the 31st of October 2014. So you know when you go to an Italian and they say, you know, recreating Italy since 1950 or something, if your family business you started, you could say, you know, making delicious food or, you know, sorting out your insurance needs since October 2014. Real potential for you to do that. It would improve your daily routine and it would earn you some money and create some real structure and be a job that you love. That's a very specific message. I love it when I get things like that. Okay, so let's have a look at your tarot card for the month Libra and see what the theme is there.
Okay, and I've got strength in reverse. And strength in reverse means you don't need to work as hard. There are other ways of doing things. So when you ever, whenever you feel yourself banging your head against the wall this month, stop doing that and look somewhere else because there's an easier, more effortless way to do it. So whenever, yeah, so whenever things don't get difficult, change your perspective. There's a better way out. Have a wonderful month, Libra. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.ca.uk. You can click on the About tab to find out more about me. You can look at the Readings tab to see the types of readings I do, the length, the cost, all of that. Send me an email. The address is readings at gregoryscott.ca.uk. Or find me on Facebook. We've got a bit of a community there. It's facebook.com forward slash gregoryscott444. Have a wonderful October, and I'll speak to you soon.